Hey, I'm Alex and this is Finally Functional. If you're new here, I'm making VR shoes, shoes that let you use your actual legs while playing a VR game. In the last couple of videos, I've been going over support rigs, rigs that you wear while you use the VR shoes. This is the third one that I'm gonna go over in this video. This support rig is in an L shape and it swivels around the center point here and it can go up and down like this for crouching. This support rig, I can turn in place really easily. It's really natural and I'm able to crouch. The support rig screws into the ceiling brace like so. Just get the threads to line up and turn it a few times. Then I use a long bolt to get some leverage and tighten it. After implementing it this way, I don't really like it because what if someone doesn't tighten it enough? So I'm gonna do it differently in the next version. This is what the swivel looks like up close. There's a few thrust bearings in between the two washers on the top and bottom. And I'm gonna go more into detail about how this works in the next video. I'm using threaded rod here, right here, for a very specific reason. It's so that I can have these nuts wherever I want along the length of these two rods. The purpose of them is to limit the crouching distance. So with them right here, you'll notice that I can just pull this down and I can only go down this much. I can't go down the rest of the way. And the reason I have that is so that a total beginner can adjust the crouching however much they want. So if a total beginner is using this and they want the support rig to help hold them up while they use the VR shoes, while they're getting used to the VR shoes, they can turn these nuts all the way up so that no crouching is available and then the support rig is helping them um, with their balance. It's helping hold them up while they use to learn the VR shoes. Once they become more comfortable, they can add crouching back in. It's also so that if you're you know, at different heights, people are, are at different heights, they might want different crouching distances and this allows for that. You may have noticed that there's an eye bolt right here. And the reason this is here is if you want to have say like a chest harness where you want to attach it at a higher point, then this is that higher point that you can attach it at then your chest is also kind of held in place as well. I haven't tested this out yet because I haven't felt the need to do it, but I will do that in the future. The two threaded rods are here so that this middle piece can't turn on its own. It can't turn this way while the whole rest of the support rig is turned this way. And how that works is that there's a metal flange here that these two rods are going through. And this flange makes it so that this thing can't turn very much. To make sliding smooth, I have these 3D printed parts here. I have three bearings around each of the threaded rods, as you can see right here. The bearings have 3D printed tires around them so that the rolling is very quiet. And then up here at the top, there's a similar situation with these bearings around that smaller middle pipe. That noise you're hearing as the pipe slides up and down, as one of the flanges rubs against the threaded rod, I'm going to have that fixed in the next version. And then finally at the bottom, there's another similar setup. So here is what the bottom looks like. It's this wide 3D printed part. There's a couple bolts that are going through this part here on the climbing harness. And the reason it's so wide is so that while you're in the harness, you can't turn and be in a different direction than the support rig is facing. So you're, you see it's facing that way. I'm going towards that way. If these weren't here, then I could just turn to the left or to the right and be totally misaligned with the rest of the support rig. I'll take this out and show you exactly what I mean. So now I've taken off that 3D printed part and now I can show you, I could turn a whole lot and there's a whole lot of play and I could be completely misaligned with the rest of the support rig without that piece. So that piece adds a bunch of width so that you can't do that. So this support rig allows me to do smooth turning and crouching but it does have some issues and I'm gonna go over those issues in the next video. I also have a new design that fixes all of those issues that I will be explaining and building in the next video as well. So thanks guys, I'll see you next time.